IELTS Writing Task 2, Lesson 8, Problem and Solution Essay. In this lesson, we'll look at another full question from understanding the question through the planning stage and the writing, and then we'll analyze the essay at the end, just like in the previous two lessons. This time, it's a problem and solution question that we're looking at. Today's problem and solution question comes from test four in Cambridge IELTS book four. And as usual, I'm going to show you how my students and I wrote an essay for this question. Here is the question. In many countries, schools have severe problems with student behavior. What do you think are the causes of this? What solutions can you suggest? First, we need to plan our answer and the planning has three steps. The first step, read and understand the question. Well, we've read the question, but now let's highlight or underline some key parts. I would highlight the task first. The task is we have to talk about causes and solutions. And, net, and then I would highlight the topic. The topic is student behavior in schools. So we need to write about the causes of the bad behavior and the solutions one good main paragraph for each. One more word I'm going to underline in the question is the word you. It's asking for your opinion about the causes and the solutions because you don't have any other um, materials with you. You don't have the internet or any books. So it has to be your opinion about the causes and the solutions. So it's fine to write I believe or in my opinion in this kind of essay. Let's move on to step two of planning. Plan your essay structure and the four paragraphs we usually use. Introduction, two main body paragraphs, conclusion. In the introduction, we just need two sentences for the topic and the answer. The topic, of course, is student behavior in schools. And for the answer, we're just going to introduce the idea of the causes and introduce the idea that there are different solutions. So we we thought we'd write something like this. A variety of reasons for this problem, but steps can be taken to tackle it. Taking steps to tackle a problem means trying to solve it. After planning the introduction, we skip to the conclusion and repeat the answer. Usually that's what we do in this type of question the problem solution I usually prefer to just summarize the problem or the problems and the steps and this really means that you have to wait until you've planned your main body paragraph ideas before you can summarize the causes and the steps we'll be able to do that better when we've done the rest of the plan just moving on to paragraphs two and three now in paragraph two, we'll put the causes of bad student behavior, of course, and then we'll, of course, have the suggested solutions. And that's the structure. The third and final step of planning is plan ideas for the two main paragraphs. We'll spend about three minutes on each one. And that's what we'll do now. We'll start with the causes of bad student behavior. These are the ideas that my students had when they brainstormed these causes. The first and easy answer was to blame the parents. Parents are not strict enough, and we thought the word lenient might be a nice word, meaning the opposite of strict. But let's say a bit more about parents. What result does um, the lack of strict discipline have on children? The children don't accept teachers' instructions or school rules at school because they're not used to following strict instructions, maybe. Then my students had a different answer. Apart from the parents, we might blame schools or teachers. Teachers fault. Why? No control, bad classroom management. And a final person or group of people to blame could be the influence of celebrities who are a bad example. You can see there that we're blaming three different groups of people, the parents, the teachers, and the celebrities. And this looks like a perfect example of ideas for a firstly, secondly, finally paragraph. If we quickly number those ideas in 
numbers one to five for the five sentences that we're trying to write for this paragraph would start with a topic sentence saying there are several causes of bad behavior then firstly the parents I think we can get two sentences about the parents because we've got a bit more information there and then we'll do our secondly point about teachers and our finally point about the influence of celebrities then we did the same thing for paragraph 3 the suggested solutions and here are some of them we'll start with the solution for parents they could set rules for children be stricter we'll say a bit more about that use punishments and show that actions have consequences then we move on to the solutions related to schools or teachers schools could train teachers and parents a bit more they could give them discipline techniques and better communication maybe schools could encourage parents and teachers to communicate better the final people that we blamed were celebrities famous people so we'll have a solution for that problem famous people need to act as role models again you can see the three groups of people that we blamed before and we've got a solution for each one the parents the teachers and the famous people let's order those ideas now we'll start with number one sentence one a topic sentence saying there are definitely some solutions to the causes of bad behavior and then we'll go to our first point we won't use firstly secondly finally we'll try to find something different to link the ideas but the first point will be about the parents and we'll try and do two sentences again for them then we'll move on to the teachers and the schools and finally on to the famous people the solution there that's the full plan then we've got good ideas we know the structure and we're ready to start writing the first paragraph that we have to write of course is our introduction if we go back to the question and look at our introduction plan remember two sentences a topic sentence introducing the idea of student behavior in schools and an answer just covering the variety of reasons and the steps that we will explain later in the main body here's the first sentence that my students and I wrote about the topic it is true that the behavior of school pupils in some parts of the world has been getting worse in recent years a few things to notice in that sentence first I often begin with it is true that when we have a problem and solution question because you want to accept first that the problem is true and then we can paraphrase some of the things from the question so the behavior of school pupils instead of student behavior and some parts of the world instead of in many countries and I've just made it a bit different by saying it's been getting worse in recent years um, then we move on to the answer we're going to just cover the reasons and the solutions in one sentence the first half there are a variety of possible reasons for this this comes from the plan variety of reasons then we'll talk about the steps but steps can definitely be taken to tackle the problem so we haven't given any reasons or steps yet that will come in the main body we just introduced the fact that there are different reasons and a variety of solutions or steps that's the introduction finished then we need to go on to paragraph 2 if we go back to our plan we'll see that the first idea was we needed a topic sentence just introducing the several causes of bad student behavior here's what my students and I wrote in my opinion three main factors are to blame for the way young people behave at school nowadays remember we already know we've got three ideas so we can put that in this topic sentence three main factors and instead of saying reasons we've said factors are to blame that's a nice phrase to use you could use that phrase in any essay about problems and solutions the next point and this will be our firstly point was the parents not being strict enough here's what we wrote firstly modern parents tend to be too lenient or permissive 
some good vocabulary in there. Modern parents and then tend to be is they are usually too lenient and I've added another word permissive. They allow everything, uh, that allow their children to do what they want. And we said we were going to say a bit more about the parents. The second point, children don't accept the teacher's instructions or the school rules. Here's what we wrote. Many children become accustomed to getting whatever they want. So that just explains the permissive or lenient parents a bit more. And then we'll go on to the instructions and the school rules. And they find it difficult to accept the demands of teachers or the limits imposed on them by school rules. As usual, I try to add any good vocabulary that I think of while I'm writing the sentence. So we've got accustomed to getting whatever they want and then difficult to accept the demands instead of instructions and limits imposed on them is a good phrase. The next point will be our secondly point. The teacher's fault, no control, bad classroom management. We'll start with secondly. Secondly, if teachers cannot control their students, there must be an issue with the quality of classroom management training or support within schools. And our finally point was the influence of celebrities who are a bad example. Finally, children are influenced by the behaviour of celebrities, many of whom set the example that success can be achieved without finishing school. That paragraph contains five sentences and it's a typical firstly, secondly, finally paragraph. You can see those words underlined there. And in total it was 103 words long. Let's go on to do the same thing for paragraph 3. Our first idea that will be the topic sentence was the suggested solutions. We wrote, student behaviour can certainly be improved. A very short, easy topic sentence. Then our firstly point will be about the parents setting rules. I believe that the change must start with parents who need to be persuaded that it is important to set firm rules for their children. I've not put firstly this time but we've said the change must start with parents. That's a nice way of um, showing that this is our first point. A bit more about this we had the words um, the ideas use punishments actions have consequences. When children misbehave or break the rules parents should use reasonable punishments to demonstrate that actions have consequences. Misbehave is good there, break the rules, reasonable punishments and demonstrate. The next idea will be the secondly point about teachers and schools. Schools should train teachers and parents, discipline techniques, better communication. We wrote, also schools could play an important role in training both teachers and parents to use effective disciplinary techniques and in improving the communication between both groups. So we're saying schools could play a role, training teachers and parents, disciplinary techniques and communication between both groups. That means the parents and the teachers. Our finally idea, the famous people should act as role models. At the same time, famous people such as musicians and football players need to understand the responsibility that they have to act as role models to children. As I said, we didn't want to write firstly, secondly, finally again because we did that for paragraph two. So this time we used start, also and at the same time as a way of showing where we are in the paragraph the start, the first idea, parents, and then also about schools and teachers, and at the same time about the famous people. So we use those words to link instead. There are many other ways to link two or three ideas, and these are just some of them. That paragraph was 102 words long, and now we're ready to move on to the final paragraph, the conclusion. We said that we were going to summarise the problem and the steps and now we know what the problem or the causes of the problem are. We know the steps as well that we've given. If we think back we had the teachers, the parents or parents, teachers and celebrities and we had some steps for each. 
let's start by giving the problem again, summarizing that problem. In conclusion, schools will continue to face discipline problems, and then mention the steps, unless parents, teachers, and public figures set clear rules and demonstrate the right behavior themselves. We've repeated the problem of discipline, and we've mentioned those three groups who we thought are part of the problem but could be the solution. The parents, teachers, and this time we've said public figures instead of famous people. That's nice vocabulary. Set, set rules and demonstrate the right behavior. That's the end of the essay. We've finished the four paragraphs. Let's quickly check the band seven to nine vocabulary from that essay. Steps can be taken to tackle the problem. The good thing about that phrase is you can use it in any problem or solution and solution essay. Three main factors are to blame. You could also use that in any problem and solution essay. The rest of the ideas are specific to the topic of education and bad behavior. Parents tend to be too lenient or permissive. Children become accustomed to limits imposed on them, quality of classroom management, celebrities, famous people, public figures, set an example, set firm rules, reasonable punishments, play an important role in, effective disciplinary techniques, responsibility to act as role models, and face discipline problems. Those were the best phrases I thought in the essay and the ones that examiners would really notice. And that's what would help the essay to get a band nine. That's the end of today's lesson. Remember to print the worksheet next to this video and work through the little task at the bottom of that sheet. You'll see the full essay there as well. Next week, we'll look at the final type of question, which is the two part question.